Welcome to Sudden Strike 4. Today we are going to discuss smoke grenades. If you look uh, here, there are uh, three different campaigns, German, Soviet, Allied. Uh, we have the German campaign up right now, and we're looking at uh, the infantry doctrine, but there's three different doctrines you can choose. If you'll notice, the main thing I want to discuss is what's uh, on the screen. On the left here are items that you automatically get uh, when you select the specific uh, doctrine. If you can see right here, there are no options for smoke grenades. And now if you look more closely below, I've actually listed uh, three different options for smoke grenades. There's backpack, smoke discharge systems, and just simply uh, smoke grenades. Most of the time you're going to have to use stars. Stars are located right there. And in this case, I don't know if you can see the dark part, but we have 10 stars that we can use on this specific uh, save right here. And we've used them all uh, accordingly down below. You can use the stars to purchase smoke grenades. So if you can see this backpack right here costs uh, five stars. This uh, smoke discharge system, and this is going to be for armored vehicles, that cost uh, four stars, and of course the smoke grenades themselves cost uh, three stars. So, you know, you got to use your stars wisely, but this can be uh, effectively used in, in certain situations. In this next segment, we're going to take a look at uh, two different examples of uh, both attack and uh, defense. But before we do that, we're going to look at uh, the controls as to uh, how you can go about uh, setting this up. In our first example, we're going to look at the controls of how to select smoke discharge systems uh, for armored vehicles. First, you're going to select the armored vehicle. Then you're going to select a button called R2. And you're going to hold that down. And then once you hold that down, you're going to look on the screen. It should uh, come up. Uh, right there and what you're going to want to do is look for the thing that shows the smoke discharge and then what you're going to do is you're going to select that uh, with the left analog stick right there and you're going to point it in the direction of the smoke discharge and then you're going to let go once you let go it should release uh, some smoke uh, to disguise your units Alright, let's take a look at the mechanics of uh, how you would go about uh, selecting troops. And of course, uh, this one is going to uh, involve the R2 button again. First thing you're going to want to do though is select uh, the troops that you'd like to use. Then you're going to hold down the R2 button, hold it down, and you'll see a bunch of options on a wheel. This option right here has the uh, smoke grenades. That's the option you want to choose. And to do that, you're going to take uh, this uh, left analog stick right here and point it in the direction of the smoke discharge that will activate it. And then you release the controls. But it's not going to send out smoke. What you're going to want to have to do next is you'll see uh, it'll either be in green or yellow. There'll be a bunch of dots, per se, and then there'll be like a target. If it's in green, you can do it. If it is in yellow by chance, and it looks like this, that means your infantry has to go to a location to, to do that command. So if it's in green, you can do it, and all you have to do is simply uh, hit this uh, X button right here, and they will go ahead and do that. Now it will also do it for the yellow too, but the infantry is going to have to move to that spot. If it's in green, they can just throw it there. If it's in yellow, they have to move to that location to do that. One other thing I would highly recommend, and that is if you are throwing grenades in a green spot and making smoke in that area, I would highly recommend moving those troops to where the smoke is so they can't get attacked and then throw more smoke as you go. What you're going to want to do to move those troops there is simply uh, select this triangle button here and put it in the spot where the smoke is. Let's say uh, right here, we'd move them per se. 
then that would keep them out of the range of enemy fire. So a key portion of your attack strategy if you're moving infantry forward is keep them covered by uh, smoke and you know try to advance or stay in the areas where the smoke is so your infantry doesn't get picked off uh, very quickly. In our second and final attack example here we're going to use infantry and we're going to combine it with uh, long range artillery here. As you can see I'm testing out how far the artillery can shoot and trying to get it in uh, position so it can shell a uh, heavily guarded enemy position. Uh, what we're doing here, what we're aiming to do, is move our infantry forward with a bunch of smoke and then let the long range artillery do the shelling to take out the, the position. So we're setting up a bunch of infantry here infantry and we're going to move them forward and attack this position on the left right there. Uh, and it's a heavily, you can't see it because the way Sudden Strike Force is set up. But it's a heavily guarded position, and you will see that very shortly. So the key is select all the troops, and uh, you know throw a smoke grenade forward, and then we'll advance to that position. So okay, there's a smoke grenade. We're moving the troops to that position. Another smoke grenade. And we're going to try to quickly move the troops into that position, and then keep throwing smoke grenades. Hopefully, we can get close enough to where they can. Uh, Get a bunch of shells coming. You can see the artillery coming from the left side there. Trying to throw more smoke grenades. You know, here's the problem. Uh, you got to keep the smoke grenades in front of your troops. Otherwise, they're going to get picked off in rapid succession. As you can see right here, we've got the smoke grenades forward, but they're not protecting the troops. Our troops should be where the smoke grenades are, so we're not quite executing the way we want to on this. So our troops are going to end up as somewhat of a sacrifice. The good news here is we've got artillery set up to shell the enemy's armored position. As you can see, they take it out of the house right there. And they're going to take out a few more tanks. Now we've got our uh, infantry much better protected there. And uh, hopefully we can get uh, some medics in uh, to protect us a little more. And you can see we're running out of smoke grenades here. But it's, it's protecting our position enough to where we have infantry... And they've highlighted the enemy's spot, and now we can simply attack them. And of course, you know, if that doesn't work, or if you run out in that scenario, you can always uh, bring in uh, heavily armored vehicles. Here we're going to bring this uh, heavily armored tank forward and uh, shell out, knock out the rest of the enemy position. And they're going to retreat uh, very shortly. And fortunately for us... We do have a medic left, and we do have a few soldiers left, so not totally in vain. And again, this was a heavily defended uh, position that we're attacking here, and I believe they have completely uh, retreated there. So, yeah, uh, the strategy worked out, but you want to try to keep them in smoke and cover as much as you can when you're attacking, or you will suffer losses very uh, quickly. But yeah, we got a few troops left, so... Not uh, totally in vain. It, it, it's a tough spot to attack there. Next, we're going to shift our attention to focus on uh, using smoke and defense. In this case, uh, we're defending armored vehicles. The second case would be infantry. Uh, here, like I said, we're defending armored vehicles. We've got two spots we're supposed to protect. The first one can be attacked, and we are using our smoke to protect our armored vehicles as you can see they're not taking a lot of damage they're not getting wore out and, and this really emphasizes the value of the, the smoke screen uh, they last for about 10 seconds I may be going a tad fast with these uh, you do get a little rush when you're playing this game you don't have a ton of time to decide uh, as you can see we just ran out of uh, smoke grenades and uh, it's becoming a little bit of a battle. If you'll notice, I've got artillery set up behind. And, uh, yeah, I've uh, got to get uh, some supplies to the artillery. Got to move those forward here. And uh, get these uh, artillery resupplied here. So the first attack spot has been defended. There's a second spot on the top right-hand corner. It's in the uh, blue right there. 
What I'm going to do ahead. here is I'm going to take the remaining tanks I have yes, and uh, put them in, uh, put them to the Go left ahead. of the blue circle, and use that for defense. Yes. And one of the problems I'm going to run Artillery into ready. is those Go tanks ahead. don't have any smoke left. So what's going to happen to them, and you'll see this in a minute here as I'm setting up, those tanks are going to get destroyed. Okay, I'm getting attacked right here, so I've selected all the troops, and using the smoke screen uh, to cover as best as possible. It is working very well for the troops that are selected by it, but it's not working uh, for the uh, tanks on the left. You can see they are completely getting overrun and destroyed, which uh, basically points out the value of having the smoke. As you can see the tanks with the smoke, they are still in place, and the tanks on the left that ran out of smoke from earlier, they are getting overrun. As you can see, uh, my artillery is getting attacked as well. Now, fortunately, I do have tanks that are covered by smoke where they can uh, hit the advancing tanks, but... Uh, yeah, this uh, smoke screen, very, very valuable uh, in a defensive situation uh, such as this. Now let's uh, shift gears and take a look at another example. In this example, we've got a, a well-entrenched defensive position set up, and we're going to go ahead and uh, select a bunch of troops there. And, of course, we're going to select grenades and try to throw them. Oh, wrong spot there. All right, we've got a smoke grenade set up. And we're going to try to use these smoke grenades to protect our, our trenches and, of course, uh, protect our uh, tanks as well. Now the smoke grenades are obviously coming from the infantry inside the uh, trenches. But as you can see in this example here, we've made very effective use of infantry and smoke grenades and in thwarting an enemy advance. As you can see, they're pretty much getting stopped dead and uh, nothing's working. They're not going to be able to penetrate this defensive position here as our uh, troops are well disguised and it looks like we didn't really take any uh, serious casualties but uh, yeah, uh, smoke can be very effective uh, in defending uh, positions uh, as we pointed out in uh, both examples there. And of course this wraps up our Sudden Strike 4 smoke strategies and tips. I would like to thank everyone for watching and uh, wish you good luck in your play.